I actually like this better than 15, to be honest. I plan on going through 15, eventually. I own both. Hold up. Am I awake? Oh, come on. This, I believe, is more game. There's a lot more that you can do with the... Uh, I don't know if you've ever played it, but take a look into the Gambit system. You can basically automate your party to do exactly what you want them to do. And there's a job system, so you can make any character whatever class you want. And down the road, you can get two separate classes, so it's kind of cool. I feel like this has way more in it. And it's more story-focused, because 15 wanted to be open world. So unless you're doing straight through the story, 15 can kind of have a change in uh, feel and style. Yeah, but I don't like the. I also don't like the combat system in 15. I'm kind of older school and like a turn base. An open world doesn't equal better game, better story. Yeah, that's where you feel that. The only good thing about 15 is the characters are really good, but I like this story overall way better. Did I wake up? Oh, come on, wake up. Thank you, Pinello. This doesn't cost more, I'm sorry. This is either about... This is cheaper than 15. Graphics don't mean everything, man. Not to me. 15's graphics might be better, but... I like this gameplay better. It's a matter of preference. By the way, you need anything? All right, so what do we got here in the shop? Which I have both of those. Uh, oh, could definitely use some new. Ooh, what's this? Immune to sleep, that'd be nice. I like that. Immune to silence. Raises magic when critical. All right, let's, oh wait, spells, oh, Cura, oh, I need that, I definitely need that, all right, let's sell that, we'll sell that, and the Firestone, and then we'll buy, we'll definitely buy Cura, 
and that's about it. But let's change my gambits. So we'll say when an alley's HP is below 30% to cast. It's not a very long game, dude. I mean, there's a lot to do after. There's a lot of end game. End game. But. Yeah, I. I don't think it's as long of a game. Like, most of the. Most of the. End game content. Has more than the actual. Yeah, there's a lot of side quests and a lot of. Uh, end game like stuff you can do like that you can go through a bunch of other dungeons and stuff at the end of it but when it comes to just the main story it's not that long this game actually has a longer story I'm gonna save my game real quick I'll be right back save the game You can go back after you beat the game or get to a certain point. You can go back, but yeah. You can eventually go back. All right. Looks like we've got a... You can't go back for the story, no. Alright, is Vaughn awake? Vaughn is awake. Uh... Alright. Oh, you're stuck in the story? I'm sorry, man. I didn't really play it that much, so I... I don't know what all happens in the story. When I heard they were going to release patches to change and fix the story, I decided to wait until all that's done, which I believe it is now. Oh, my main character, the guy I play as is Vaughn, and he, uh... Oh, he's weird. He must be weird to dark. Oh, crap. Oh! Oh, Pinello. Holy crap. Oh, okay, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Okay, please, Phoenix down on Pinello. Oh, wow. Okay, and then... Phoenix down. Pinello again, please. Oh, not sleep. Not now. Uh, stone, petrify, silence, poison, blind. Oh, there we go. Uh, I keep wanting Bothier, please. Uh, high potion, please. Thank you. Yeah, got him. Nice. I 
All right. Sweet. Ancient device stirs. Long ago, the gods granted their favor to King Wraithwall, who would oversee the subjugation of a vast territory spanning from Mordalia to Valendia. Here, he forged the Galtaean Alliance. Though he is called the Dynast King, Upon establishing the Alliance, he demonstrated compassion for his people and disdain for needless war. A philosophy passed on to his successors, one that would bring peace and prosperity for hundreds of years to follow. It was during this time of peace that the city-states of Arcadia and Rosaria, each members of Wraithwall's Alliance, took root and flourished. Wraithwall left three relics signifying descent from the Dynast King. Of these, the Midlight Shard was given to what would become House Nebradia, and the Dusk Shard to my ancestors, the founders of Dalmasca. The last of these relics was the Dawn Shard. It remained hidden here, known only to those of royal blood. As though the Dynast King foresaw the very plight before us now. None save descendants of the king are suffered within. If we attempt to enter without proof of such lineage... There's no guarantee we'll make it out alive. Vicious beasts, fiendish traps, something like that. Mm-hmm. But you must consider the prize. The Dawn Shard lies within, and Wraithwall's treasure. And there was I, thinking this was going to be hard. <laughs> All right. Mm, let's save it. Touch the device. What was that thing? A contraption you'd find in all but most rudimentary ancient ruin. One touch and off your whisk to you know not where. The finer points of the operation elude me, but they're handy all the same. What more need a sky pirate know? Okay. Vanilla. Uh, I guess we've got some license points, so we should spin those. Okay, so... Could definitely use some more gambits. 